today's Sunday School lesson. Today we'll be learning about the parable of the sower. We've been learning all about the parables of Jesus. You know, when Jesus tells an earthly story with a spiritual or heavenly meaning. Today he's going to be talking about farmers because a lot of people were farmers back then and he wanted people to relate well to this parable. But before we get started, I want to pray with you today. Dear Lord, please bless everyone within the sound of my voice. I pray in Jesus' name that you be beside them and help them with whatever struggles they face today. And I ask you, God, to teach this lesson to work through me and in my heart and mind so that I might speak the right words to reach each and every person with your word. In Jesus' name, amen. So we all know about plants and seeds, I'm sure. Here we have a beautiful tiger lily plant and it is full grown and it stands pretty strong even when a storm comes or the wind comes because it has really strong roots. In today's parable, we'll be talking a little bit about seeds, plants, roots, and growing. In today's parable, we're going to hear about a farmer who went out to sow some seeds. Jesus used this parable, including a farmer and sowing of seeds, because many people back in those days were farmers. Let's take a look at this parable now. A farmer went out to sow his seed. And as he was scattering seed, some fell along the path. The birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky places where it did not have much soil. It sprang up quickly because the soil was shallow. But when the sun came up, the plants were scorched and they withered because they had no root. Other seed fell among thorns which grew up and choked the plants. Still other seed fell on good soil where it produced a crop a hundred, sixty, or thirty times what was sown. He who has ears, let him hear. So this is the parable of the sower, where the farmer went out to scatter his seed on, in different locations. Later in the book of Matthew, Jesus in his own words explains this parable. In Matthew chapter 13, beginning in verse 18, Jesus says this, Listen then to what the parable of the sower means. When anyone hears the message about the kingdom, and does not understand it, the evil one comes and snatches away what was sown in his heart. This is the seed sown along the path. So we talked about the seed sown along the path and how the birds came and ate it up. And that's the same thing, that seed represents the word of God. And when that seed, it landed on the path, it didn't land on good soil, it wasn't able to take good root. And so Jesus says, that's like someone hearing the message, the gospel message about Jesus Christ, but the evil one, Satan, coming and snatching it away, just like the bird snatched away the seed. Jesus goes on to say this, The one who received the seed that fell on rocky places is the man who hears the word and at once receives it with joy. But since he has no root, he lasts only a short time. So you know that plants need to have strong roots, otherwise when a wind comes they'll be knocked over and, and they'll die. And they need those strong roots to get nutrients and water from the soil. So the seeds that fell along those rocks, they did not have an opportunity to grow strong roots. It's just like someone who hears the word and receives it with joy at first, but really doesn't stay in the word and continue to grow firmly in God's word. When trouble or persecution comes, to this person because of the Word of God. He doesn't have those strong roots, that strong faith, and so he's not able to continue in his faith, just like the plant is not able to continue to grow along those rocks because the soil is so shallow. Jesus continues, the one who received the seed that fell among the thorns is the man who hears the Word but the worries of this life and the deceitfulness of wealth choke it, making it unfruitful. So you imagine seed falling and growing, but then thorns and brambles come and choke it and it dies. 
and that's like the Word of God coming into someone's life but if that person gets focused on their worries or desiring wealth or or with anything else other than God as their focus they won't be able to grow and bear good fruit just as these plants need water and sunlight to grow Christians, people who receive Jesus into their heart, they receive the gospel message, they need certain things to grow in their faith. And one of those things is the Bible. They need to be able to read the Bible, whether it's on the um, iPhone or whether it's in the in actual book, but they need to read the Word of God. They need to pray. They need to watch Sunday school lessons. They need to um, go to church and continue growing in their faith just like a plant needs to keep growing those strong roots so that when difficulties come along or persecution comes along, you'll be able to stand strong in your faith. The enemies of God's word are Satan and worldliness and desires for money and desires for pleasure. And so we need to watch out for those things and not let them steal the word of God, the seeds that are planted in each and every one of us. So take a moment and think about what kind of plant are you? Are you the plant that grows up for just a short time in the shallow soil by the rocks and then your faith dies out? Or are you like a plant who doesn't even get a chance to grow because the birds come and steal the seed, the word of God away from you? Or are you like the plant that is growing with strong roots rooted in the word of God? so that you can be strong in your faith and withstand any persecution, any distractions that may come, anything that tries to take you away from God. Are you that strong plant? I hope that you are. I pray that you are. May God bless you today. May you continue to read this parable again and again in the book of Matthew. There's much more to understand in this parable, but we just had our brief short lesson for today. Please keep reading the word. Grow that strong roots in your life. Remember, God loves you, and so do I.